what we observed was that when we look at pregnancy in completely healthy individuals, the vaginal microbiome community is structured by pregnancy. And it's structured in such a way that the species are, that are represented overall contain a community that is less diverse and less rich. Now this is interesting because traditionally we associate less diverse and less rich communities with disease states, such as ulcerative colitis and irritable bowel syndrome. All of those have certain less rich, less diverse phenotypes with them. This is the first time we've seen a completely healthy cohort, just women going through pregnancy, and we see less richness and diversity, which really begs us to think about when we're making these initial assumptions within our microbial research, what our microbiome profiles mean. And this is the first evidence that something being less rich and less diverse doesn't have anything to do with disease. It's normal reproductive health in women in reproductive age. There's a lot of questions that we have after doing this work. We want to know how quickly does the vaginal microbiome restore to the non-pregnant state. And then we're funded through the Burroughs Welcome Fund um, to also be able now to look at the association between varying vaginal microbiome profiles and preterm birth. And we're really excited as we've gotten the first 30 or so subjects enrolled in that study. And we're starting to tease apart that data, which is just going to be fantastic.